Good evening everybody, or good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time it is where you are. Tonight's little video that I'm posting is um, just me doing one of my day to day things. Um, I like to read when I'm in the bath. I always have loads of magazines like around and um, I guess because my bathroom gets quite steamy magazines end up getting wet and end up buckling and looking like that basically so um and also I have a lot of magazines lying around the house so I just wanted to open them up, have a look through them and take out any clippings or pictures or inspirations that are in there that I might want to take, keep and um, then throw the magazine away basically so I've got less but keeping all the good bits. So the first magazine that I'm going to do is Let's Get Hitched DIY Wedding Lookbook. Um, this was actually a free insert that came with a magazine called Molly's Makes, I'm not getting married, or even close to it. So I have my scissors at the ready. Um, oh, pages are really stuck together. Really stuck together, so I won't be doing that one. So the next one is actually Molly's Makes. Sorry if that was loud. It's come with a crochet hook. Um, I really, really want to learn how to crochet. That's sort of one of my things I think in the future when pregnant. Um, I think I'm going to spend the nine months learning to crochet. Because that would be really cool. Um, okay, so hopefully also while going through these crafty mags, I'll uh, find some inspiration for future videos. I did actually film a crafty one earlier this evening. Um, so that'll be my first crafty one that I've done. Um, I've not been doing much crafting at all recently, so it'd be good to to get back into it. Now it's winter, gardening is at a standstill. Um, so it's definitely time to sort of sit in and stay in and uh, start crafting again. This is a tutorial on how to make one of those. It's like a camera thing, which is actually quite cool. Um, but I don't need the tutorial because I can pretty much figure that out myself. So what I'm going to do is cut out just the picture. And my plan is, because I have of paper or the drawings I've done, scraps of everything, is to make a sort of <clears throat> inspiration book, I think, um, so that when I see things I can cut them out and stick them in and uh, basically have a log of everything. So if I'm feeling crafty one day, I can just go to, to that basically. Um, yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do with all of this. Um, I do I definitely want to get into crocheting. There's some beautiful crochet things in here, but I just don't know. Cute and easy crochet baby clothes. Well, I might cut that out. 
simply <clears throat> because that's going to remind me of a nice book um, to get when I have learned to crochet. I don't know if any of you crochet out there. Is it easy? My, um, my aunt knits. She used to knit a lot when she was younger and then stopped and she's just started again and she just knits loads of things and they're amazing so I should get her to try and teach me that crocheting is different though isn't it um I'm not actually finding that much to cut out <coughs> This is a good way of getting rid of um, magazines because you don't. I never want to throw them away because they've got so much inside them <clears throat> that I want to use. But that well, it's generally only really one or two um, one or two different articles. So, I definitely need to uh, get rid of a lot of stuff. Like I've got a lot of cooking ones that I just need the recipes from. So this little picture, I make up. I like, I like to make bunting because I like to decorate outside parties with it, and that's a cute bunting that I've never made before. So that could be something to do, a little project. Mm. Right, well that's, um, that's that magazine. There wasn't really much there, was there? Never mind. So now we've got Jamie Oliver's um, magazine. Um, he's my favourite chef. I just, I think he's brilliant. And every recipe that I've tried of his is fantastic. So, there'll be definitely some things in here that I want to take out. Um, anything just yet. Pancake recipe because I've never actually learned how to make pancakes. Um, it was always my brother's thing. I learned how to make scrambled eggs when I was a child. My brother learned how to make pancakes. So, um, I have, yeah, I've never made them. So I do need to learn that. Mmm, onion tartare. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, good, and it doesn't, um, Then one of the recipes I put on the other side. Uh, 
and then on the other side it's um, the Indian dosa, which I saw on his um, TV program, one of them, and uh, I honestly think it looked amazing. So, good I have that recipe now, and there's a photo of it. Indian street food. He makes it look really, really good. So which I'm absolutely starving. Um, yeah, and that looks nice. Tomato, olive, feta, and anchovy tart. So I guess a future video is going to be me sticking these in. <laughs> Hot cross buns. Yeah, I'd like to try that. Definitely. So I'm not a fan of cold soups. It's a chilled avocado one there, but French onion soup and chickpea rosemary and pancetta soup. soup. Sounds yummy. Mm. Broccoli and sweet potato soup. Yum. Getting meatballs. I'm not going into meatballs. Spinach and ricotta cannelloni. I had this in his restaurant. And it was really good, so. We'd like to do that. Definitely.
tofu I've never had. I don't think I've ever really had tofu. Only with miso soup. Um, I'm actually not finding. But a lot of these things, a lot of these things, I just wouldn't do. Like I'd like like them there. In a restaurant, I'd go for them, but generally speaking, if it was me cooking that myself, then I wouldn't. Hmm. Mussels and smoky bacon and cider. See? Big mussels by the cider. that whole page. Muscles and Guinness as well. Just making keep seeing all these nice knives. I need to get some new knives. My knives are like rubbish. I thought to keep them some for Christmas and they're blunt already. This one must uh Let's get some new ones. There's lots of um lots and lots of good recipes but just nothing that I'm going to use myself really. Venison steak free. Venison isn't actually something that, to be honest, I'm not sure I've ever eaten it. I must have done at some stage. My um, my godfather, who is a bit like a dad to me, um, because I uh, don't know my biological father. Um, he he's a hunter, I suppose you could say. He hunts for a living. And um, so he always has like pheasants and um, like wild ducks and all sorts of things strung outside his house. And he goes to, he like has the rights of um, a lot of land in England, not a lot of land, but some land in Oxford. Um, so basically he pays for, he pays for the right, that's nice, fig and olive oil cake, that looks lovely. Um, he pays for the rights to basically be the only person who can hunt on that land. Um, and he feeds, in the winter he puts out feed for the, like he cares, cares for the deer, puts out salt licks for them and makes sure there's food in the winter and if there are any like injured or sick ones, he um, he'll put them down, which is a little bit sad, but that's what he does. Um, so he's always got like a big chest freezer full of venison and full of rabbit, and I just don't eat game. <clears throat> but I would like to. Um, try to eat game, definitely, especially, it's come into fashion a lot now, um, it being the financial crisis, as they say, um, that looks nice, doesn't it, eaten mess cake, I'll try that one, although it's more of a summer one, um, it's come into fashion now, eating sort of the, so that the cheap cuts of meat, and obviously the wild, if, if it's cheap, I mean rabbit's obviously a lot cheaper than it used to be, so a lot of people are using rabbit, and also I've heard of people eating squirrel. Um, not sure if I'd eat a squirrel. Um, I quite like squirrels, so I don't think I'd eat one. But um, 
Yeah, so he's going to be a good person to know. Because um, I want to spend a lot more time in England now. and Because I haven't spent that much time there the last sort of nine years that I've been away. So, um, wow, that looks amazing. Awesome. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. That is a pistachio and elderflower cake. Looks amazing. Um, yeah, I'm going to be spending a lot more time there. So it's going to be quite cool getting meat from him. I'm just going to have to learn how to cook game. Game pie, some venison and rabbit pie, pheasant things. Be nice. Um, don't need drinks recipes. I know how to make good drinks. Oh, cool. I don't really use any of these either. So that's that. Magazine. Um, my next magazine is. Country living. I, you have no idea. I have like three stacks. I can't even show it on the camera. So I have like five of that of magazines that I just need to. All underneath a coffee table. They're all sort of mangled and. So I really need to uh, have a good sort out just while I'm doing this. It's just lovely to get inspiration. things because you can't keep magazines forever but this magazine's far too nice for me to cut up it's not even mangled or oh, it is at the back god what's happened there anyway um for now i've got my cuttings um, I've got to do a lot more of this actually, but uh, I don't know how long this video's been. But I think that's enough cutting for one evening. Um, now I've got to sort of make a, a cookbook um, out of all of my bits and uh, an inspiration book on things to make, and then hopefully that will give me quite a lot more inspiration for new videos and Christmas gifts. So, um, yeah. Good night, everybody.